टेन टू There must be two nitrogen atoms. So first of all, let us write down their electronic configuration. The second nitrogen atom. this one again we will draw the energy axis here is the low energy and here will be the high energy <coughs> now 714 वन एस टू एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल सेवन फोर्टीन वन एस टू एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल दे विल ओवरलैप ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी सिग्मा वन एस बॉर्निंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल सिग्मा स्टार वन एस एंटीबॉडी मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एंड बोथ विल बी डबल इफेल्ट अगेन देर विल बी टू एस टू एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल टू एस टू एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल दे विल ओवरलैप टू फॉर्म टू मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स सिग्मा टू एस बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल सिग्मा स्टार टू एस एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल दे विल ऑल्सो बी कंप्लीट Now let us move towards the three degenerate orbitals: two p x, two p y, and two p z, having one electron each. Again. Two p x, two p y, two p With one electron each, but opposite spin. Now there are three atomic orbitals of this nitrogen and three atomic orbitals of the other nitrogen atom. So total molecular orbital formed that must be six. Here it is very important to keep in mind that when sigma two p x sorry two p x will overlap with two p x. Two molecular orbital will form. One will be sigma two p x bonding molecular orbital. Other will be sigma star two p x anti bonding molecular orbital. Two p y with two p y so two will be form sigma two p y. And sigma two p z. Similarly, sigma star two p y and sigma star two p z. But here, in case of nitrogen, there is a very important point that you must keep in mind that this arrangement is wrong. Mean the sigma two p x at the lower energy and pi two p y and pi two p z at the higher energy. You cannot write it down like this. You will have to write it down in this fashion. That the Pi two p y and pi two p z 
bonding molecule or orbital should be at low energy and the sigma 2px bonding molecule or orbital should be at high energy this one is a variation let me tell you one thing here that in which molecules we will have to vary this order we will have to vary this order in the lighter molecules which molecules are the lighter molecules having up to 14 electrons <clears throat> mean from h2 to n2 all the molecules they will be lighter molecules but those molecules that have more than 14 electrons in them mean oxygen and so on they will be considered as in the heavier molecules and in the heavier molecules you will not change the sequence but you will write it down as i have written this earlier why this sequence changes just because of sp hybridization what is meant by sp hybridization basically the energy difference between the 2s and 2px atomic orbitals in case of lighter molecules the energy difference between 2s and 2px atomic orbitals that is very low or very small because the energy difference is very small so they will intermix they will show hybridization which hybridization obviously 1s and 1p is in ward so 2 sp hybrid so the two atomic orbitals are involved so it will be sp hybridization and when this intermixing takes place some of the energy of 2s moves to 2px due to which the 2p and 2s molecular orbitals they will remain at low energy because they have given some energy to the 2px and 2px after getting some energy from 2s during that sp hybridization this sigma 2px will be higher in energy now as compared to pi 2py and pi 2pz and sigma star 2px is already present at the highest energy level so it is just because of sp hybridization so let's move towards the filling of electrons in the <clears throat> there are total 6 electrons so 2 2 four and 2 six. These are the six electrons that are filled. Now, what will be its bond order? Because these are filled completely filled, they will not take part. So, total six minus zero over two. Because these six electrons are present in bonding molecule orbital minus zero over two. that will be 3 and you know between two nitrogen atoms there are three covalent bonds which are present so its bond order is 3 paramagnetic or diamagnetic because all electrons are paired so it must be sorry because all electrons are paired so it must be diamagnetic 